Hi everybody, my name is Barbara Rodriguez and I'm a PhD candidate at Texas A&M University in the Department of Plant Pathology and Microbiology. Today I'm speaking with you in behalf of the 2020 JR Biotech Virtual Reach and Teach Scientific Lecture Series. And I'm going to give a lecture about the fundamentals of plant gene silencing and VIGS. So here's is a workshop outline and today I'm going to cover an introduction to gene silencing and RNAi, what is VIGS, and the applications of gene silencing in functional genomics of crops. And then our workshop will take place again in November 13, when I'm actually going to guide you through a step-by-step -step protocol on how to successfully signing a gene in plants and hopefully I will be able to answer any questions that you may have in our question, question and answer section. So let's begin. So what is gene silencing? Gene silencing is basically the regulation of a gene in order to reduce its expression. Gene silencing can happen at both the transcriptional level with the prevention of the DNA transcription to RNA, or it can happen at a post-transcriptional level with both the mRNA degradation and or with the repression of its translation to a protein. RNAi or RNA interference is a natural phenomenon that happens in different organisms for silencing a gene. RNAi happens at a post-transcriptional level mm -hmm. and results in the specific degradation of a mRNA molecule and consequently with a reduction on its protein production. This is the intercellular process of RNAi. RNAi is always initiated by a double-strand RNA molecule that is going to be recognized by an enzyme called DICER. DICER is activated in the presence of ATP and is going to cleave this long molecule in short interference RNA double-strand molecules. These double-strand short interference RNA molecules are going to be incorporated into a protein complex called RISC. RISC is going to be activated in the presence of ATP and is going to unveil the double-strand molecules into single-strand RNA molecules. One of the strands, strands is going to remain into the protein complex and is going to serve as a guide that is going to recognize by base pair complementation the region of your mRNA that is going to be targeted for cleavage and no protein is going to be produced, resulting in the loss of expression of your specific gene. RNAi was first discovered in 1998 by Dr. Mello and Dr. Fire, both from the Medical School of University of Massachusetts and the Stanford University. In 2006, they both were awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine or Physiology for their groundbreaking discovery that RNA strands can selectively silence a gene in specific species. This finding has revolutionized genetics nowadays. So here I'm going to explain what is VIGS and the fundamentals of this technique. So VIGS stands for virus induced gene silencing and is a technique that allows the silencing of a gene for its function characterization in a wide range of plant species. 
For VIGS, you will only need a partial gene sequencing for inducing the gene silencing. But it's important that you have the whole genome already sequenced. VIGS is considered a reverse genetic technique because you already know the gene that you are going to be studying and you are going to silence the gene through a knockdown transient way, which means that it's not going to be transferred to the next generations, that you don't need a stable plant transformation to analyze the gene function. And in a in short time, you can already have the phenotype that you are looking for. VIGS exploits the innate defense antiviral mechanism in plants, which I already explained that is the RNAi mechanism. So through a VIGS technique, you are going to have a rapid degradation of your specific mRNA region. And VIGS is one of the most widely used plant functional genomic tools because of its highly consistency and because it's cost effective. And VIGS allow the, the analysis of the key genes that are required for the plant survival and thus cannot be studied by mutant analysis as they are important for the survival of the plants. So through a gene silencing, you can silence in the gene and observe where, how these genes are important for the plant function. Here are some applications of a gene silencing in functional crops. Fun so first, the first report of BIGS was in Nicotiana bentamiana with the silencing of a gene called PDS. The silencing of PDS generates a photobleaching phenotype as you can see here in the picture. And now this is a common uh, positive control when we are conducting VIGS. VIGS also allows the molecular analysis of agronomically important traits in the case of cotton fiber production, for example, when we can study the, the importance of the, those genes in producing fiber for cotton. VIGS also allows the study of gene function under biotic or abiotic stresses as they can be induced during your experiment. During VIGS, we can also study the function of genes in drought and salinity stress as we can induce both stress during our experiment and analyze the gene function upon the stress. Gene silencing also allows the study of host genes that are involved in the host pathogen interactions as we can silence in the host gene and induce a pathogen infection and see how the gene is involved in this interaction. So here are the three major steps for performing VIGS. So first you are going to select the most suitable virus vector and you are going to engineer the vector with the region of your gene that is going to be targeted for silencing. Then you are going to proceed with agrobacteria transformation and plant inoculation. And about two weeks you can access the symptom development and do your functional analysis of your gene. So this is the steps that I'm going to access during our workshop, and I'm gonna guide you how you can select the best region of your target gene to be silenced, how you can design and customize your primers for amplifying the gene and constructing your virus vector clone, and following up with E. coli competent cells transformation and selection of the positive transformants for the plant inoculation. And I will also help you. What are the important controls that you cannot forget for your, for your experiment? 
So if you are interested in learning more about how you can successfully silence the gene implants, you can attend our workshop on November 13. Thank you very much for your attention and feel free to contact me if you have any other questions.